What are the characteristics of sacred alchemical sounds and music that activate our epigenetics? Here is the following list of 15 different areas that contribute to all the benefits and positive responses and changes that are consistent throughout the specific sound and music listening practices. Number one, the listener transitions from ordinary consciousness into a receptive state simply by listening. Number two, there is a simultaneous diminishing of the outer environment and ordinary consciousness while inner awareness expands. Number three, the repetitions, patterns, and frequencies create allowing of the unfolding of the process as well as receptivity to the process and within the process. Number four, the entire sound experience creates containment, a beginning, middle, and end. Number five, there's a simultaneous shift in brain waves heart rate, and respiration in similar to how the Northern Australian Aborigines consider the three brains, the brain of the stomach, solar plexus, the brain of the heart, and the brain of the mind. Number six, there's a connection into the qualities of the heart, an openness, a sense of spaciousness, which is different than mindful meditation of the mind. Seven, there's a release or loosening of ego restrictions, even if it's a small amount, which also assists perception of blocks and in the release of blocks. Number eight, the process brings potential for hidden content into awareness in a non-threatening way for healing, getting permission, and problem-solving new ideas, insight, and intuition. Number nine, there's indirect and direct resolution of issues, challenges, healing, relationships, connection to purpose, and epigenetic responses. Number 10, the entire process develops resilience and resilience is inner strength, the ability to problem solve, navigating in a more centered way and connecting to resources. Number 11, there's a diminishing of stress and cortisol production, which also diminishes depression and anxiety. Number 12, there's a release of dopamine and melatonin, which are the feel-good chemicals. Number 13, the listener has potential to access deeper states of brainwave activity, from beta to alpha, theta, delta, and gamma, especially with repeated practice and familiarization with the process that allows the person to go deeper over time. Number 14, there are changes in perception of what of normal space and time. So after returning from the experience, the time in the meditation process seems longer or shorter than how we perceive normal time. And that's actually one of the ways that you can tell the effectiveness of the process. Number 15, the experience is like a dream in remembering content is fleeting. So recording the experience through journaling as soon as possible is beneficial and help also helps to notice patterns. Collectively, this tells us human beings were never designed to stay or thrive in one level of consciousness. Accessing other levels of consciousness is part of our evolution 
but it's how we integrate and manage the experiences that provides guidance, balance, integration, and continued growth. As in ancient cultures, regular connecting with the numinous was a significant component for the health of the community and the individual. 